Hello, I'm Senate Majority Leader Mike Shirky. I'm here today with a message for you, imploring you to do everything possible to make yourself, your family, your neighbors, and the people of Michigan safe. We learn a lifetime of new learnings every 24 hours. Our most recent new learning is that we probably understated the importance of wearing masks. Originally, we were told that the only people that needed to wear masks were those with the disease. What we've learned since then, after thousands and thousands of tests, is that up to half the people who actually are infected and infectious do not have any symptoms, which means half of us walking around may be infected and we don't know it and nor do our neighbors. Therefore, contrary to what we were told early on, everyone who is out in public should wear a mask to the best of their ability. Please stay home when you can and if you get out wear a mask. Wash your hands frequently. Practice extreme social distancing. I am also challenging everyone to do what you can to manufacture and make your own mask. Even handkerchiefs and scarves will help mitigate the spread of the disease. We do not want to create a new run on N95 masks. We must save those and preserve those for our frontline defenders. So, as you just saw me taking off my homemade mask, do your best to manufacture your own mask. There are many resources on YouTube and across the internet describing various ways to make very effective masks. Uh, one micron and below filter material is still readily available. I ordered some two days ago and got it the next day. And so there's plenty of material around. The material that you saw with my mask was from an old shirt, a 30-year-old shirt that was one of my favorites. And my wife repurposed it for the manufacture of this mask. No one knows how long we're going to be under the executive orders restricting some of our liberties and some of our freedoms. But one thing we do know, the more disciplined, the more robust, and the more committed we are to extreme hygiene, extreme social distancing, and now wearing masks, we can contribute to shortening that amount of time. Right now, we're all under severe stress and pressure, both from a physical standpoint and frankly, from a mental standpoint. One of the best antidotes for mental anguish and seeing signs of depression is to find things in our lives that we can actually control, so we are in control. I know there's a lot of things that have been directed from above through the executive orders that have challenged our liberties and our freedoms. And right now, the best way for all of us to get us back to some normalcy is to practice exactly as I just described, extreme hygiene, extreme social distancing, and now wearing masks. The more we can exercise, demonstrate, and show that we are sincere about the safety of hygiene, social distancing, and now masks, the quicker we'll be able to relieve some of the restrictions that have been placed upon us. There's no question in my mind, soon, the curve of innovation and creativity and the spirit of America will overcome the bad news that we're receiving with regards to this very insidious disease. But until then, right now, all we can do is do our best, maintain good hygiene, extreme social distancing, wear your mask, and above all, live, love, and work smartly. Thank you.